Hi, my name is Derek and you're watching the Bayside Games dev blog for Robots Can't Jump, our game. And today we're discussing creating a particle manager. So after um, having a quick read through the code at the end of the last tutorial, I realized that we made a really silly mistake. And that's to not actually specify a texture file name when we create the container. So that's easily fixed. In our add container method, we need to have a file name. file name needs to be passed into the container and we need to update the declaration of this function very good oh I keep hitting that key for some reason I'm just still getting used to this keyboard and when we create the particle container in our test let's find it there it is it's gonna get quite a few arguments to this function very good candidate for a data de declaration or something like that we're going to pass in litex.bmp. And I remember writing that, oh yeah. Oh, okay, well that's interesting. It should be using that texture file name. I'm just gonna stick a breakpoint in here. Make sure it all happens. Oh, for some reason it's doing edit and continue. Uh, and that's not gonna work. See what it's doing okay it's got a valid texture file name and in we'll just check the mkb file to make sure that's still in there because i might have pulled it out at some stage no it's definitely in the litex.bmp let's see if it loads that up yeah definitely loads it from file it's not errors it succeeds in opening it it uploads the texture. It sets the texture on the material. That's all fine. It's setting uh, the various alpha modes and everything. Yep, so that should be okay. And let's go and look at our render method and also just check that our UVs are being passed in correctly. So, quad UVs, they look okay. Current UV is the stream index. That looks all right. I don't see any reason why that wouldn't work. Okay, so let's have a closer look at our material. I don't see anything unusual in there, so that looks okay. And our UV stream has a bunch of UVs in it. They look all right. So this all looks fine. Just see what happens when we run it now. Okay. It's getting some. Oh, no, it's definitely working. So let's have a look at it. As you can see, it's looking good. That is exactly the same as our texture. So our texture is like a little round ball, too. So you can see it's being additively applied here. So it's kind of hard to see because there's nothing behind it, but this is literally just being added into the frame bucket with, a, with an additional operation. Um, so that's looking really good. 